In this video now, we're going to use the binomial theorem and the polynomials to prove these results. The polynomials are a great way to prove in this kind of result by using identification. We're going to see what we can do in our case. But we start with the binomial theorem and with the special application. Here, if we let 1 plus x to the power b times 1 plus x to the power q. So using the rules of uh, exponents, this is going to be 1 plus x to the power p plus q. Now we can apply the here 1 plus x to the power p plus q. We can apply the binomial theorem here. So we get uh, p plus q and let's use uh, k. So k choose p plus q choose k and let's get, get k going from 0 to p plus q. And here we're going to take a, a as x. So therefore we have x to the power k and b is going to be 1. So 1 to the power p plus q minus k is it's going to be 1. We are not going to worry about that. Okay. Next, we're going to see here that we have two polynomials, one of degree P, the other of degree Q. Okay? Remember that P and Q are positive integers. Uh, remember that when we have polynomials, let's say P is, uh, uh, let's say what I'm going to use, AK, X to the power K where k is going from 0 to, let's say this is p, and uh, uh, let's call it big p. And q is bk, x to the power k, where k is going from 0 to q. Okay, we have the product of these two is uh, k going from 0 to p plus q, the degree of the polynomial, and ck x to the power k. Here we need to notice what ck. So here k is going from 0 to p plus q. ck is going to be the sum of a i b k minus i where i is going from 0 to k x to the power k. Okay, you can prove this result or you can do just the multiplication and notice what you have when you do p times q. Okay, so in our case here, we want to do polynomial identification. Here we have in this one here, what's the coefficient uh, before x to the power n? Here it is in this case, it is p plus q uh, n, okay? So p plus q choose n, x to the power n, plus, plus the other terms. So the coefficient facing x to the power n is p plus q choose n. Okay? Here, if we let x or k equals n, we're going to have the sum of i going from 0 to n, a sub i, b, n minus i x to the power n with a i let's change it so i going from 0 to n a i is in this case coming from the polynomial p it's p uh, i and b is q n minus i x to the power n you have to be careful and notice what we did here now we use it identification, so this is x to the power n, and the coefficient from the this one here, this right side, the coefficient coming from this binomial, x to the power n is p plus q choose n x to the power n. So now using identification, so polynomials are unique, so the coefficients are unique. So this coefficient facing x to the power n is the same as this one facing x to the power n. And we see here that we have the same result as we have done last time. Okay, we might have changed the index, which is i here. We could have used k, but it's the same. So in this case, we have proved that p plus q choose n 
is the same as k going from 0 to n b k q n minus k okay and this is the polynomial identification that has led us to this result the key idea is you need to know how to do binomial multiplication okay and i think that's it if you see any errors or mistakes please let us know there are many other ways to do this problem but we did two ways and i think that's enough okay please like share and subscribe and thank you very much and i wish you a great sunday